Texas Health here on ABC2, and we want to answer your questions. Ashley James joins us right now with more on what you need to know about the signs of breast cancer. Ashley? Well, JB, we are so fortunate to have medical experts in our studio this evening, including Dr. Yvonne Ottaviano, Chief of Medical Oncology and Director of Breast Oncology at MedStar Franklin Square Medical Center. Thank you so much for joining me, Doctor. Well, thank you for having sessions like this to increase awareness. Yeah, it really is important. I want to start off by asking you, what are some of the statistics that you can give us about breast cancer? So breast cancer affects about one in eight women in this country, and uh, still it's uh, a, d an, a disease that the incidence fortunately is decreasing because of some factors such as not using hormone replacement therapy as much. And also um, there are about 40,000 new cases a year, but there are so many survivors that uh, we have millions of survivors thanks to new treatments, thanks to early detection. So that's wonderful. Well, doctor, what are some of the signs of breast cancer? Are there signs? There are signs. I mean, the obvious one is a lump. Uh, a lump does not definitely mean cancer. Cysts can be lumps. Uh, but the, th the thing is also to take that in context of a woman's age. But any breast lump, um, somebody should be aware of it. A doctor should be aware of it. And a lot of people say to me, well, I can't tell. My breasts are lumpy anyway. And what I would say to that is every, everybody has to get to know the texture of their breast tissue and pay attention mostly to changes. So besides a lump, there could be some skin changes like an unexpected redness. There could be a change such as dimpling or puckering in the skin or pulling in of the nipple. That's called an, an averted nipple. And some people are born like that. The whole thing is what are the changes? So what do you do if you think there might be something wrong? It depends on age. I mean, uh, for a younger woman, uh, I would probably see a gynecologist. For a woman 40 or older or 35 or older, I would, if, certainly if one had not had a mammogram, I would start by getting a mammogram first. If it comes back normal, you may not be done yet. You need to know if, it's, if you still feel something, we need to get to the bottom of that. Mammograms aren't perfect. They can miss things. So one might need to see a breast surgeon, get an ultrasound. Uh, the key thing is don't hide and be afraid that it might be breast cancer and do nothing. I've had that happen and it never ends well. All right, so don't hide and don't <laughs> be afraid. Thank you so much. Great information. We're so grateful you're here with us this evening. Thanks. Jamie, back to you. All right, Ashley. Flu season.